What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Keelan. I am a fantasy and sci-fi author and today we are not just working on my audiobook but we are also sprucing up my balcony and making a writing oasis. For those of you who don't know, I just moved into this apartment in December and at our last place, it was fully furnished. So we have had to go ahead and furnish this place. We have quite a large balcony though. And I am really looking forward to today turning it into like a writing oasis. So in today's vlog, we are going to be not only reviewing my audiobook, but also converting my back balcony into a writing oasis. And I am so excited. So as everybody knows, it's like quarantine and lockdown, but here in Quebec, in Montreal, Quebec, they are starting to lighten up restrictions. So stores are opening, people are allowed to gather outside in groups of up to 10. And so there are different things that are going on in terms of restrictions lifting. That means we feel comfortable at this present time with proper PPE, so masks and like hand sanitizer, going to pick up what we need to do this deck at Ikea. The patio will obviously be my writing oasis, but it will also be used for other things. So we see this as a way to basically make a space outside that we can enjoy throughout the summer while still being on quarantine lockdown. Like for example, restaurants still aren't open. You can't go to a terrace and have like a drink on a patio or something like that. So really we're doing this for kind of our own mental well-being, so we can get outside because we don't have a yard and then also for writing. I'm really looking forward to it. We've taken a bunch of precautions. So we're going to go after work. It is a work day for me. So I'm going to be working all day, uh, remotely still, still working remotely, but we have looked everything up online, found what we wanted. We know the exact aisle. We tried to do curbside pickup, but unfortunately the store location nearest to us does not do curbside pickup. And the only store it seems in the Montreal area that does curbside pickup is in downtown Montreal and we kind of thought the risk is bigger going into downtown Montreal which is the epicenter of all of COVID in Canada basically whereas we are in the suburbs so it, it makes more sense for us to go here and we're going to get in get out and then build the writing oasis and I am so excited just to have a space outside. Now, for those who have been following my no buy your journey, I did make an exception in the rules for furniture because I made that commitment in January and we had just moved to a new place that was unfurnished. My entire place is furnished except for my patio because we waited for the summer to you know wait for stores to have their patio furniture and their outdoor options available i know there's lots of places that specialize in that but they're really expensive and we're not trying to spend a lot of money here so we waited and then corona happened and we just couldn't do it so now we're finally in a position where we're able to go and do this and we're going to take all the precautions but i'm so 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 excited to have a place outside where i can read and write and you guys will see, I'll show you a picture of my balcony now. It is not conducive to that. It's just not a nice spot. We have to sweep it up. We really have to spruce spruce everything up. We have to sweep it, we have to clean it. So there is a lot going on, but I'll make sure to insert a clip of the balcony as it is now. But I'm so excited to make my outdoor writing oasis and also work on my audiobook revisions today. So it's going to be a good day, but first I do have to get to work. So we are going to do that. Hey everyone, so just taking a quick break from work. It is beautiful and sunny out. I cannot wait to go outside at lunch. But um, we <laughs> just found out something super interesting. So the stores just opened up yesterday in Montreal, in the Montreal area. And so long story, but everybody in Quebec moves on the same day. So July 1st is moving day. Now our lease is extended, so we have another year after July 1st. We're here for a year and six months, but everybody moves on July 1st. So what that means is that everybody's trying to get furniture before they move. And I just found out, funny enough, because I was taking a quick break and I was on Facebook and I saw a Vice article about the IKEA that we're going to today. 
And there was apparently a viral video about how long the line in the parking lot was. And yesterday it was like 32 degrees Celsius, but felt like 37 degrees Celsius, which is super hot. For my American friends, that's like over 120 Fahrenheit. So yeah, that is what we are heading into today because it is only day two of this particular store being open. Other stores had curbside pickup during the pandemic, but now this store in the suburbs is open and I am just, I, I didn't realize this is what we were getting into today. Literally a viral video and everyone was social distancing. And apparently the line wasn't as bad as it looked, but it was like the whole parking lot. Guys, it's freaking hot today. Standing outside in a parking lot line, I'm just thankful that we're going to go after work and hopefully it'll be a bit cooled down by like 5 or 6 p.m. Anyway, I didn't know this is what we were getting into today for um, the building my writing oasis, but apparently it is. Uh, so we will see, we'll see how it goes. All right, everybody, just going to take you out to my balcony now so you can see the unpolished version. Excuse the background noise, it's my washing machine. And my sister is currently staying with us, so we have a floor mattress going. It is very comfortable, actually. But this is our balcony. It is a beautiful day out. Um, as you can see, it has the view of the parking lot, which isn't, you know, the best view and it is super dirty. It's got random crap on it, but this is what we are going to be turning into the writing oasis. So the one really amazing thing about this balcony is that it is covered and although it doesn't get sunlight, which I, I don't really like, it also doesn't get any rain or snow or things like that. So we are going to be putting a few things out here, like a table and some chairs for writing, also having drinks on the balcony, but we're also going to put a shelving unit that's going to have some plants that do well in the shade. And then also I'm going to put some books and writing supplies and cups out here. We're going to do lights and our biggest expense is probably going going to be flooring because I cannot stand the floor of this balcony. So we're actually going to be putting flooring down, which I'm super excited about. Michelle, my sister has done so much work in finding items. We found a super affordable table and chairs for like $44. And anyway, we are just so excited. We got a great shelving unit that we're going to buy. And I'm just super stoked to see how this all comes together. We want lights, we want it to twinkle. And I'm really excited to be out here during the summer. And because I can't go to cafes, which are my favorite place to write in, have a little backyard cafe right here. everyone it is hot as hell outside and there is a highway behind this park which is why it's probably very loud but it's hot as hell I am in my bandeau so I know it looks like I'm naked but I swear I'm not and I'm going to try and get a tan and listen to a bit of my audiobook while also taking a look at Save the Cat. Please ignore my sunglasses they are my partners they clearly do not match my face shape but whatever. I just finished a chapter of my audiobook listening to it and I can't really film while doing that because I I'm listening to it on my phone. But it's just so cool to hear your book read out loud by somebody else, by like a professional. It does make me cringe at some parts because I'm like, oh, I can't believe I wrote. I feel like I recognize when I write words too close together. Like that's what I'm recognizing the most in this book. I'm like, ooh, that doesn't, that could have been said better. Or there's two words like too close together. And I feel like that's something that I'm recognizing more in audio than in written. Also, I just realized I'm recording this through my headphones. Oops, I hope it sounds okay and matches the other audio. Anyway, the narrator has done a wonderful job, but I'm kind of taking notes actually to see how I can improve book two because book two is in the editing phase. It's with my developmental editor right now. So, you know, it, we're kind of at that spot where after the developmental edits are done, it's going to be copy and line edits, which is like the perfect time to improve on these things. So, I don't know. I think it's just really good timing and I'm loving the audiobook so much and it's actually helping me learn so much about my writing and my writing style and what I really like and what I don't like because I don't know there's just something about 
another person reading it to you, like not yourself, because I've read my book out loud in parts. I've listened to my computer read my book out loud, but there's just something different about another person who is reading it out loud professionally. It's been super helpful and there's definitely, I'm taking notes of things that I like and things that I don't like in my own writing. So going to hopefully carry this through to book two. All right, everybody, we are back inside because my pale ass just can't handle the heat. But if you've gotten this far in the video, I'm assuming you're liking it. So hit that like button down below. It helps my channel out so much. You guys don't even understand. Every time you hit that like button, it helps more people see my video. It helps the channel grow and hopefully it helps inspire people along on their writing journeys. So please hit that like button. It literally means so much to me. And I am so thankful that you are here following along on this journey. If you have not subscribed yet, please consider it. It's that big red button. All you gotta do is click on it and then you'll get a notification, especially if you fill in the notification bell, which is the little bell icon right next to the subscribe button. Make sure it's all filled in and you'll get a notification every time I post new videos. And it literally helps me out so much every single time somebody clicks subscribe because it helps grow this community and I just am so thankful for every single person that is here. On the note of community, we do have a free open to everybody discord linked down in the description box below and discord is basically a chat server and there are about 40 of us on there right now it's called the sprint squad we talk about writing we collaborate for beta reading and and writing youtube videos and ask questions about like what povs we like and stuff like that so it's a really great resource for anybody please consider joining that discord everybody is welcome and hopefully you find it beneficial it's a great way to meet new writerly friends and we have a really good time on there so to summarize, like because it really helps, subscribe because I will love you forever if you do, and join the Discord because the Discord is super fun and I'm sure you'll find some great writing buddies on there. All right, everybody, I am done work. This is my sister, Michelle, and we are about to head to Ikea to buy all the stuff to make the backyard writing oasis. I don't know, that's what we're just gonna call it now. It's the backyard writing oasis. All right, guys, so even with all our preparation, we went to our last thing and we didn't like it. So we have to go explore and actually get something that works. So we're gonna see how it goes. All right, everyone, so IKEA went well, uh, kind of, I guess. Um, we were overcharged and so had to go back after that, but that was after we tried to purchase two pillows because there was okay guys there was a shelf that was covered in pillows like 20 pillows at least on the shelf so we took two of the pillows for outdoor pillows and then when we got to the cache we were told that that shelf was demo and that there was actually a bin that had like the pillows and the wrap like fresh and I was like well Michelle and I both thought like why would you have why would you have 20 pillows lined up on the shelf not for purchase regardless of whether they were demos we still wanted to buy them there was like 20 more of them like they could have just let us buy them yeah anyway is big we weren't allowed to buy them and then we got overcharged for an item but that's because we had a lot of duplicates and like a lot of the stuff we weren't taking out of the cart anyway they were lovely about it all but i'm still upset about the pillows we could have gone back and got them but like we've already spent a lot of time here and i have my dog at that good home and Michelle has her dog back at home that we have to go take care of. So, yeah. But the pillows were so nice. I, I, I know, thought they, they were, were going to be really super cute. funky. And they matched the candles we got. You should get fuzzy pillows for it. I think that'd be cute. Yeah, but these ones were oh, so good. They were just very festive and summery. So festive and summery and beachy and amazing. Yeah. But we're not, we're not going to use them. Anyway. Yeah. That's the Ikea disappointment. <laughs> if the deck doesn't look good, I'm gonna be like, it's cause we don't have the freaking pillows. And the tea is spilt, and Ikea. The tea is spilt, Ikea. So this is all of the stuff and we have already gotten started, but we got a lot to do.
So this is the final product. A nice little shelf that has my books and all my craft books, or not all my craft books, but some of my craft books, a place for water. I'm going to put pens and all of like my writerly things in here. Candles, there's gonna be some plants on here as well. We did the whole floor. We've got a nice table. We're gonna throw some cushions down. So this is really just the nighttime view of it. And I will be sure to get you a daytime view, so stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. It means the world and join the discord if that is something that interests you. I hope you enjoyed coming along on this reno journey. We still have some stuff to do. We're going to get a bean bag chair to put in the corner so you can chill and write and a few other things, but we're nearly there and I'm so much more happy with my outdoor space now and I'm definitely gonna be using it.